This video will describe how to connect the 360 DSP signal level meter to the Viewpoint Server software. This is different from the Viewpoint Express software that's installed on the local machine. This is the uh, server application that you might use to uh, manage large numbers of, of meters. The first thing I need to do is, of course, get the meter online. And in my case, I'm connected via the Ethernet. You can use the cable modem, Wi-Fi, Ethernet. The meter does have to be on the network. Next thing, I'll go to the Auto Test menu, press the Auto Test soft key, and you'll see a viewpoint link. Select Enter. The very first time um, I connect my meter to my viewpoint server, I need to enter a 360 key. This is a code, Just press enter on this box. Um, each server will have a unique 360 key. It tells the, the meter basically where that server is on the network, the IP address or DNS name in other words. It's six or seven digits, very simple to enter. You only have to enter it in one time, uh, then the meter will remember it. Bear with me here, it's a little slow because I'm also remoted into the 360 so you can watch me uh, enter this in and see how the meter works. Oops. TR9710, that's my key. I'll select done. I'll see that it's entered. Use the right arrow or just press go to viewpoint, select enter. And those of you that have used the TDM or the Trilithic Data Manager server platform for the 860 know that uh, the 860 has to be authorized on the server to connect to the server. Uh, the 360 works a little different. The 360 can connect to the server and then it's just that it goes into a specific uh, location on the server and from there a supervisor or manager can move that meter to the correct hierarchy so that it receives the right channel plans for its area, the right limit sets. So you can see it took a few seconds but we did in fact hit the server once the meter has a connection with the server, all you have to do is select sync. Sync does two things. If there's any information on the meter, test results, uh, screenshots, it sends those to the server. And if there's any channel plans, limit sets, auto tests on the server to be downloaded to the meter, it will download those as well. So very simple very straightforward go to the viewpoint link hit the sync button and you've updated all the channel plans and limit sets in your meter you've sent all the test results in your meter up to the server